Elder Franklin D. Richards spoke of the general interest that is felt by the Latter-day Saints, not only by the old but the middle-aged, and even the young in what is going on among the nations abroad, and also in what is being transacted in our own territory. He referred with pleasure to the increased interest in being taken throughout the European mission, made manifest by the many calls for more help by the President of the mission. He also spoke of the difference in feeling that exists among the people of the southern states, since their affliction brought about the Civil War, and their willingness to receive the testimonies of our young men and boys whom we have sent among them as missionaries. The Twelve of late had made many calls, not only from the Seventies Quorums, but also from the Elders Quorums, to fill the urgent solicitations made upon them to carry the gospel to those who have never yet had it preached to them. He felt satisfied that there are many thousands throughout the southern states who have never heard the testimony of any of our elders. We must continue our efforts until all the people have been faithfully warned. A great many names of our young brethren who have never had any experience in preaching the gospel have been handed in to the twelve, and of necessity requires that they will be duly called upon, some of them during the conference and others from time to time as occasion requires. The work of the ministry must go on. It is the leading work now on our hands to perform. It is no great thing to require from those who have been made partakers of the great blessings the gospel has imparted to go forth and communicate the same good things and glad tidings to others, who have not yet tasted of them. We must keep the spirit and love of this work continually in our hearts, and ever be ready to go forth and disseminate to others what we ourselves have experienced. The nations of the earth are rushing on to discord and distraction, and we should constantly be preparing ourselves to offer them that aid and succor, both temporal and spiritual, which will be needed. Those of our youth who have not yet received a testimony of the truth of this work should be kindly labored with by those who have had experience in the ministry, who should endeavor to instruct and encourage them in feeling after the Lord until their feet are firmly set in the ways of God, and they are filled with a determination to serve Him. He particularly urged this labor upon the leading elders of the church at home, for such a labor is equally important with any foreign missionary work to the nations. He thought there was too much distance between the bishops and the people of their wards, also between the presidents of stakes and their members. Whenever difficulties arise, the bishops and leading men should endeavor to settle them by their kindly influence in helping the brethren to overcome their weaknesses. The various tribunals of the church are intended to promote peace and administer justice. The home missionary labor is great in our midst, and we should continue to exert our influence until the fellowship of the Holy Spirit is more universally enjoyed by the saints and every feeling of bitterness is subdued. 